All right, today I'm going to walk you through how to understand burns using historical imagery. So everyone knows that wildfires, hunting burns is very, very productive for finding animals, whether it's a recent burn, sometimes an older burn, you can see a lot more country in the burn. And using historical imagery allows you to actually see some really good details in that burn as that burn progresses through the years. You actually can see when that burn was the best, where those areas that are inside that burn that still might be really green, just using historical satellite imagery. So right now I have wildfires turned on. As you can see here on the map, I have a giant wild, wildfire highlighted that was from 2010. So I'm actually gonna turn this off right now so we can see the intimate details behind it. You can see all this burn scar right now. Everything in here is burned. Um, but if we jump over historical imagery, I'm actually show you right now, October 3rd, 2021. You can see everything's really burned. I can see where I needed glass. But as I go back in time though, it's kind of nice to look at the transitions from when a burn got really good to when it's just you know a bunch of deadfall everywhere. This could be used for how am I going to hike through the burn? Is it going to be really nasty in certain areas? You actually can start to see all the blow down trees a little bit easier as you're going back in time. But as we get back here, you can see a bunch of green areas. Like right now I'm at an image from September 4, 2016. In the middle of this burn, there's a big green little patch in there. That probably is going to attract some wildlife, either deer, elk, whatever it may be. Um, as I go back again further, zooming out a little bit, you'll see, as I get closer to the burn, you'll see what the di big difference is between a recent burn and an older burn. So this is taken a year after the burn, April 27, 2011. You'll see it's just burnt timber anywhere, no vegetation underneath there. And as we you know, go upwards and get a few years on that burn, it's going to start to get greener. So I, I'm just kind of using this to assess you know, what's the status of the burn? Is it getting greener? Is it getting more deadfall? Is there some regrowth even? So sometimes regrowth is really nice to look at because if there's new trees growing up and it's a really old burn, it might get harder to glass inside that burn if you're looking at something that's a 20 year old burn or whatever it may be. So using the historical imagery um, for burns, for wildfire areas is actually really, really beneficial just to look back and find those little hidden pockets, find areas that might have some timber, find areas that have little green patches in it. There's still life inside a burn and I think burns are one of the most um, effective areas to hunt for certain species during certain times of the year. And you can definitely add this to your hunting toolkit by using burns and go hunt historical imagery at the same time.